<laughs> then we headed to the after party, which was at the McDonald's on Maria Hilferstrasse. And not that many people showed up, actually mainly only me and also Kelsey. the summer after I graduated from college and I was taking the Greyhound bus across the country for a month. I was in Seattle and I was seeing the Walkman by myself. In between the openers it got kind of boring trying to look fashionably aloof, so I decided to step on the foot of the tall, fashionably aloof guy next to me. Next thing I know I'm in Austria and his sister is putting body glitter on my face, but I'm getting ahead of things. Flo came and met us in Starbucks in the coffee capital of the world. The horror! And he took us on a tour of Vienna and pointed out absolutely everything you could ever imagine. I love Flo. At first glance, you think he hates you and everything. When you look closer, it's like, wait, you keep a journal. Oh, Flo. I love him. What are the top three reasons that you get out of bed in the morning? It's in a complete sentence, don't yell at me. I just woke up because it was an hour. It's like, oh, shit, I gotta go into the shower. And just... Okay. Do you have any profound thoughts you'd like to share? Life philosophy. Well, I would say use your time wisely. Get to know the world as long as you can, as long as it's still is there. As long as nobody destroys it. After a full day pounding the pavement, we hopped on a train bound for Flo's hometown. So Flo lives in a town about 14 kilometers south of Vienna called Modling. He was letting us stay at his apartment for the night, and he even bought us two different flavors of these Austrian jelly donuts called Krapfen. Chocolate. You need to taste the other one too. The other one's better. We ate like four of them, four of them each. So long ago Flo had purchased concert tickets so he had to leave for the evening and then meet us like around midnight. So we sat in his apartment, just soaking in the ambiance, and ate his bologna from the fridge. <laughs> and then he sent over his sister and his cousin, Julia and Sabina, and they storm in with vodka, potato chips, and body glitter. Some nice girl time. Here, come oh. get in this. Really, for a second. No, 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 no you get in. No, come come in. One, two, three. Cheers! Yeah. Oh, picture. It's getting come, 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 push, come. What is she having there? Heel. Oh, she's got Does that help? Oh my god. Did the shoe horn tell? Please, horn, can you? <laughs> One, two, three, Peace. girls! Yay! Uh, it's really a lot of life. I think oh, yeah. just do Photoshop me, okay? So you're probably wondering why Flo's sister is dressed like an ice princess. Oh dear. Allow her to explain. Please. What should I make you? Vodka. Okay. Ready. Action. You haven't even... Is it still go... It's on. It's on. The, the whole time it's yeah. on? Okay. Oh, great. Hello, my name is Julia. I'm a student. Um, yeah, like in Austria, we have the tradition. It's like carnival or fashion. It's in Austria, it's like Fasching. And Fasching's Dienstag, it's today. It's the last day of the party time. All the guys are dressed up. I'm an ice princess, or something like an ice snow princess. Because I'm like more snowy than ice, I guess. Because I'm more wise. <laughs> I ended up wearing a bow tied in two loops that was a bunny with a striped shirt, so I was a prison bunny. And I was Princess Di. There wasn't that much evidence of that aesthetically, but I knew. Oh, 
taught us a typical rhyming cheers in German, so then they wanted us to teach them an American one. We're like, ah, we went to Christian school, should we do John 3.16? So we panicked. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride, get on up, it's bobsled time. Went with that thing from Cool Runnings. Get on, I don't understand the last it's, thing. Okay, get on up, it's, it's bobsled. 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 Every year, Modling is the proud host of the first, no, the second, gross, but the third largest fashion celebration in all of Austria. The entire city gets into costume, and then when night falls, they all meet in the main square. Then across the board, it's my big fat Greek blackout. Uh, minus Greek stuff, plus more guys in cowboy hats yelling in German than you have ever seen, I promise. A great time. Oh, and then I threw up over the bridge. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a beat.